All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we are here at the Golf Center of Arlington, and uh, for Christmas, my girlfriend bought me this tool that's actually supposed to help with making the same swing every swing. Um, it is called the hanger, and this basically just attaches to the grip end of your club, and you line it up with the, your club face here, and you just swing, and it's supposed to just help you stay shallow, um, and just supposed to help you swing overall. So we're gonna test it out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Just stay tuned. We're gonna look at the numbers and everything. We're gonna, we're gonna use it and not use it and see what the difference is. So let's get right to it. Okay, so what we have, we have my uh, pitching wedge. We're gonna start with the pitching wedge. And basically, these little deals just connect to the grip end like I was saying earlier. Kinda like, kinda like this. But the club head has to align with your club head down there. And then you just screw those tight. This is not very easy with the uh, glove on, but I think you get the gist. And that's pretty much it. And this is where you this is where you hold it. Just normal. Whenever I'm doing my backswing, the green part of this is supposed to lay flat up against my left forearm, my lead forearm, the whole time. That way whenever I come through, I'm I'm staying shallow and I'm hitting the purest shot that I can hit. So we're gonna hit probably about 10 of these we're gonna we're gonna see what the numbers look like so this training mechanism definitely feels a little weird but that's just because I'm not used to it I've taken a max of five swings with it so okay last one with the pitching wedge and then we're gonna move on we'll move on to the eight iron since since I don't have a seven iron we're, we're getting one your thoughts about how it like feels and stuff it definitely feels weird it's training me but it's like restricting like everything with my left wrist which means like all of these muscles are like already getting tired out and i've hit like 12 balls it just means that normally without this i have a lot of wrist movement which causes very inconsistent golf swings so it's very frustrating in that sense but this is good for that and like I said, these are the first couple swings with it. So here after the next couple irons, we'll, we'll switch back to, to regular hitting. We'll see how it goes. Okay, that's it for the eight iron. We're moving on to the four iron. In terms of feel and execution, that, that one right there was the best one. It was like 10 yards short from what I would normally hit at, but the contact and the feel of everything was, was spot on. Okay, we're gonna move to the two iron. You can see where all of my uh, different shots have landed and how consistent I am to each spot. So right now I'm in the green, so I'm a little dispersed, but it's a longer club, so it's it's a lot harder to do that. With like my, was that, pitching wedge, everything is fairly close, eight iron, you know, four iron and stuff. I just have to know. I know that I'm saying that the ball is landing this and it's going this distance. That's just that's just what I see. And that's just what I'm basing everything off of because I base a lot of things off of distance, not necessarily off of ball flight or anything like that. With this deal, what we're testing really is how consistent I can hit the ball, and that's why we look at the the dispersion because. That definitely shows how consistent I am with where the ball is going. And right now, all of all of my shots are going around the same spot, which is a good thing. So uh, we have one shot left here with the two iron, and then uh, I may hit a couple with the driver. I don't think this thing is designed to hit with the driver, but we're gonna mess around with it. We'll just hit some with the driver. Um, yeah, and then we'll and then we'll move on to hitting the clubs that we just hit with the hanger. We're gonna take the hanger off of them and hit them normal. So, stay tuned. 
All right, we've got it on the trusty old driver. <laughs> we'll give it a couple of whacks. Um, like I said, I don't think it's designed for this club, but we'll have fun with it. <laughs> nope. That ball's gone. So my consensus is that it is 100% not made for this club. So we're gonna go back to the pitching wedge, eight iron, four iron, two iron. So this is his two drives without the hanger. And that's the drive with the hanger. Without the hanger, with the hanger. The thing that I'm feeling is for some reason I'm swinging slower and it feels like I'm just hitting the ball so much better. And the, the numbers don't lie, so I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I'm hitting the ball really good, really, really good turf interaction is what they call it. So I'm happy. Let's move on to the four iron. Okay, so I just hit one off camera to see if my tempo was off and that's exactly what it is. So I am getting a little fatigued and I, I know that because when I do, my first tendency is to just play faster, get done so maybe we can go eat or something like that. Um, if you ever get that way, just take a second, slow down, take a breath, deep breath, and swing your club smooth. Don't try to kill it, just let the club do the work. So that's what we're gonna do on these next four balls. Okay, that is the end really of the trial with the hanger. My thoughts, initial thoughts are this. I think it is a very useful tool for beginners and mid to high handicappers. Um, and here's why, because I have a tendency to really use my wrist, especially on my, uh, my backswing. And what the tool does is it prevents you from doing this, I don't know what it's called, but it prevents you from doing this with your wrist, with, which can cause issues with your swing. So uh, very beneficial with uh, giving you that muscle memory when it comes to that. Um, 10 out of 10 on that for sure. So as far as me, and my shots, I am super happy with how the hanger helped me with my regular swing without the hanger, if that made any sense. Um, like I said, after my pitching wedge shots, I didn't, didn't feel like I was swinging too hard. I didn't feel like I was trying to kill it. And I was actually hitting the ball better and hitting the ball further. Although we're playing off of mats and not actual turf or not actual grass. So the distances and the feel is definitely gonna be a little bit different, but you know whether or not you're hitting the ball flush and hitting the ball in the sweet spot of the, of the face of the club. And I was definitely doing that, especially with pitching wedge and the eight iron. As far as the four iron and two iron go, I'm a little bit inconsistent, but those are different clubs. Those are your long irons. Those are much difficult, much more difficult clubs to hit. So I'll give myself a little bit of leniency on that. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. If you like the hanger, I am, I will link the description for the Amazon deal. Um, link it in the description. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so you can go pick up one for yourself. Um, how much were they, babe? I don't remember. Yeah. Um, I don't it know. It's a gift. I don't need to know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, there, I, I would assume that it's, it's relatively inexpensive. So go out and pick you up one. Um, just take it to the range and hit all of your clubs with it. I just picked a few just so that this video wasn't extremely long. So that's really going to do it for this video. Thank you for tuning in and I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button because it helps me out a ton. It helps me know whether or not you actually like the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, Make tomorrow better than today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.